Hello at the Anders Farm. I want to show you our system at the early spring. Just everything started to grow. If you come in, there's our module system. We have, we will make a, a, a separate video on this. That's the new version of, a, of our module, which is really, really efficient, easy to heat. And there's a trickling filter, a moving bed filter. Here is a brush filter. And here at the moment are 600 uh, um, European catfish. If you come in here, I'm not sure if I know all the names of the vegetables. There is spinach, there's salad, there's cauliflower. Uh, there are some berry brushes, uh, which I just made from, from cuttings. And if you look here, you see how easily they grow roots. If you do cuttings, you see that's just a cutting and it's building roots. There's parsley, um, coriander, there is a pumpkin. Over there, there are beetroots, there is um, carrots, then there are apple tree, pear tree, and another fruit tree, I'm not sure about this now. Uh, coriander, there are goji berries, uh, there's parsley again. There are the tomatoes just starting to grow. We are still early in the spring. Um, there are back there, there are fig, fake tree, also from cuttings. If you look, they are growing roots very easily with cuttings here. And a pumpkin. Here are our potatoes. Then there is a cherry tree. Uh, Indian banana and there are other fruit trees here. Then there's ingwer, uh, cucumber, then um, onions, garlic. Over here there's mangold. There are uh, uh, chili plants, cucumber, uh, that's also I think cauliflower, spinach, salads. Here is a pomegranate tree. <laughs> fake tree, uh, there is wine, wine berries, um, then we have sweet potato. Yeah, that's mainly what we have at the moment here. Here in the back you see our three IBC system where we have also the construction plants. Now it's not at the moment not filled because we are using the module for a test system at the moment. I will fill it a little bit later. And here's our pre-stretching uh, system, which really, really works well. There's a different video on it. Uh, you don't have to, to um, you don't have to heat it at all. Uh, nearly no, no energy for heating because there's perfect isolation, and it's really working fine. You just need to uh, use a little bit of fresh water every day because there's no. At the moment, we don't have any plants. Uh, combined with it so we have to use a little bit of fresh water but it's a much much easier to start even if the weather is still cold and last but not least we have our growth towers our new design of growth towers which will be planted today with strawberries um, and uh, some kind of salads and also herbs yeah i hope this was kind of interesting for you see you next time at the anders farm